The, uh, the 13 U Cups team this year, um, this was their first introduction to the tournaments. Um, in, the, in the fall, we just did strictly the Serbo League. So this spring, we competed in eight tournaments. Um, and I thought the kids, given the situation that they were put in, did an absolutely phenomenal job. Uh, we ended up being 15, 10, and 2, which in any season is a success, given the fact that we were playing some of the top competition in the Northeast. We played teams from Massachusetts, Long Island, uh, Delaware. These teams were good, and our boys hung with them for the very first time in those situations. Um, and I think it's a true test to how hard you guys work in the offseason. Um, last fall, we ended up winning the, the fall servo season. Uh, so we were not only our division champs, but the entire 13U. Um, and, and all in all, I, I couldn't be happier with the way you guys played this year. Uh, as far as our awards, um, who do you want first? Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, this player, I mean, anytime you're, you're a coach and you want kids to play good defense for you, you want somebody that plays routine defense, that can catch the routine ground ball, that can catch the routine pop up, and this player goes above and beyond that. Um, he makes diving plays, he rotates outfielders where they need to be, he throws out runners at home plate. He is 13 years old, and that just shouldn't happen. Um, your coach next year, Coach Shepard is going to absolutely love what you can do in center field. This year's Gold Glove is Justin Miller. Uh, Cy Young. From if we look at a, a bigger sample size, instead of just the spring, we use the, the entire fall season. This pitcher. Uh, it's, no, it's really no surprise who I think it is, but uh, we call him Big Game James for a reason. Uh, he's Big Wick. He is the kid that I turn to almost every first game of a tournament uh, to set the tone. He's uh, a big kid. He's a powerful force, and he throws the ball the way you want your number one starter to do. He gets on the mound and just competes. And in this spring, in some cases, again, we're playing some teams that uh, are pretty high quality. He gets on the mound, and, and he challenges them. And through ups and downs, he doesn't show a tremendous amount of emotion. And it's the reason why he continues to get the ball, because he handles himself so well in, in pressure situations. James Wickenheiser, yeah. this year's time. Yeah. This year's um, Offensive Player of the Year. Um, just to read off some stats, in the spring when we do tournaments, that's really the only time that I usually keep stats. Um, this player ended up hitting 406, which is second on our team. 26 hits, second on our team. 16 RBIs, which was first. Seven stolen bases, which um, yeah. it, does, it doesn't count the amount of times that I had to pinch run for him and that person stole. He actually stole seven bases. Um, 13 runs, three strikeouts, and 64 at-bats. That's a, that's a ridiculous number. Um, day in and day out, he had quality at bats. He was never overmatched. He hit with two strikes. He did the things that you want out of your prototypical four, five, three hitter, wherever I ended up putting him. Um, an extremely coachable kid, and not to mention did a phenomenal job behind the plate, TJ Bone. The Gamer Award. Um, this player, I think I said it at the last banquet, is, is one of my favorite kids to be around. Not that I don't like all of you, but um, he brings this tremendous amount of energy. He's, he's a quiet leader. He goes about the game the right way, whether he's starting pitching, he's coming in relief, whether he's starting the outfield, he's playing first base, he's pinch running. It's, I always know that he's going to do things the right way. Um, he carries himself well, doesn't show a tremendous amount of emotion, and he's just a fun kid to be around. Um, he's actually funny for the amount of times that he talks. Uh, Declan Healy this year. Uh, this year's MVP. If you thought TJ's numbers were good, listen to these. Uh, 573 in tournaments. I mean, this isn't just Servo League, this is tournaments. 643 on-base percentage. 
15 RBIs, 35 hits in 27 games. Um, eight doubles, hit his first home run on a big diamond at 13 years old. Um, his presence at the plate is like nothing I've really seen out of a 13-year-old baseball player. Uh, three strikeouts, 11 walks. He was a true weapon. He stole bases. I don't, maybe like two. But, <laughs> um, just an absolute pleasure to coach. Uh, defensively, pitching, what he may not realize is I don't, I don't put him in games that, that don't really matter per se. He, he throws in some of the biggest situations you can ask for a 13-year-old, and he handles it with poise, confidence, and it's fun to watch. Um, Chris Marquardt, four-time MVP. Congratulations to the 13-year, and congratulations to um, all the other teams. Good luck, you guys.